Bro, what's going on? Push. At this point, I'm ready to go home. Again, two more. So just had the best sports massage of my life. But guess who is here? So many fucking freaking people. Brother with a big head. I need, I need to pull up Sister. Can I help you? You know her. Yeah, do you know? Yeah, my babes. We just got back from Cinder. It was in Belsize Park. Yeah, the restaurant's good. We've been there eating from it twice before. Twice, yeah. Food is so good. We yeah. had lunch, so I skipped my lunch and we just had like a dinner. It was dinner, because but you know, people people eat dinner at 7 p.m. But I still have like a lot of calories left, so I more or less ordered it to come. I want to eat it twice in like Bruh. 30 minutes. So. Bruh. Hello my people, it's currently time for lunch. Ooh. That is still cooking. Calories got dropped to 2.3K on training days and then 2K on rest days. Cardio is also up to 120 minutes a week. Weight is currently at 94.3. I'm expecting myself to be down to 93, hopefully by tomorrow, but condition is looking really good. I would say how I look now is more or less when I was weighing like 87, 88 last year. So more or less it's six kilos up. Is this ready? Let's go! Oh yeah, that chicken is sizzling. I kind of burnt. <coughs> There's around 50 gram of carbs in that meal. I tend to reduce my calories by reducing my carbs. My protein and fat more or less stay the same from the start to the end of my cut. I might drop my protein maybe like two weeks away, but in general, all the calories come down from the carbs. Something I said in recently at the gym, and I mean recently like this week, Tuesday, I said logbooking my sessions, meaning writing what weights and what reps I'm doing for each exercise. I used to take and make a mental note of all of my exercises before. So for example, my deadlift, I always made sure I was hitting around the same weight, but I was never really focused on progression and Right now, when I'm in this cut, I really want to focus on progressing my weight and making sure the weights I'm lifting don't drop because when the load you're lifting drops significantly when you're in a cut, you will lose some muscle. Tomorrow is pull. I'm quite excited. So yeah, see you guys soon. So dinner is ready. This meal is more or less around 800 calories, which it might look quite large for what it is, but it's under 800 calories. It's more or less the same as my lunch um and then also i've made some plantains air fried so those are air fried plantains more or less i also try not to eat past 9 p.m to be fair it should be past 8 p.m but i always end up cooking at 7 38 morning guys so I'm about to head to the gym um oh, just ready to go fucking train honestly i'm just ready to train that's me right now. What's good people, so we're about to go to Amazing Grace London. It's more or less like a restaurant with live performances, so that will be fun tonight. Also, I'm not a fashion person. I dress quite simple because I have no idea what to wear. So I'm wearing a black oversized t-shirt from Uniqlo, a gold chain for my girlfriend. These trousers are from Kos. My girlfriend got me for my birthday, or no, anniversary um, or Valentine. And then I got some boots from Zara. These are the same black boots I always wear. As you can see, nothing fancy, literally very minimal, but you know, you have a good body, you wear oversized stuff, it looks good. So gonna enjoy the night, not gonna eat anything to be fair, but I will definitely have a drink or two. Some whiskey, some Diet Coke, you will not gain any fat from that, I promise you. Before you go for drinks, have some vitamin C, some vitamin D, and some glutathione. After that, have the same dose again before bed. And trust me, the next day you're gonna wake up feeling completely fine. 
no effing hangover, no you crying on the bed with your missus saying, oh, my head hurts, F all of that shit. Have some vitamin C before bed, glutathione, even some vitamin D. Trust me, you'll feel effing energetic the next morning, so. I've mutated since last time I saw him. He's now like 100 kilos and jacked. Something I got recently were some duck eggs from Clarence Court, as usual. Um, so duck compared to chicken, duck eggs are bigger by far. And also the bigger means more protein, more fat. The calories don't differ that much, maybe like 25 calories difference, but duck eggs are definitely a lot bigger. Like that is really big compared to a normal chicken egg. And I got it because why not? I was ordering some food. I tried it yesterday. I couldn't tell the difference. If you blindfolded me and I tried both, I wouldn't be able to tell. I just hope in my videos, you guys get some sort of inspiration, motivation. I don't know what the word is, but hopefully they stay helpful. And the minute they're no longer helpful and you guys think I'm just showing you my life and what's the point, do let me know. Even trying to vlog this is so long because I'm actually... Someone asked for my skincare routine and honestly, I'm the worst person to ask about this stuff because I'm not even sure I do the correct stuff, but my girlfriend and my sister have more or less tried to push me in the right direction. So what I use for my body, so chest, back, abs, legs, is shea butter. Focus. So I use shea butter. My dad got me that from Lagos, so I used that for my body. And in the past, I'd have used the same thing I used on my body for my face, which apparently is bad. So more or less, my girlfriend put me on this, on this CeraVe moisturizer. For the hair and my beard, I use this brand called Beard Surgeon. So I found them randomly when I was walking um, in Westfield. They're quite good, so I use, this is the balm. Again, I use this balm, it's very good. And also I use the beard oil. Focus, motherfucker. I also use this beard oil. It's very, very good. And apart from that, what else is good? Yeah, also I have some moisturizer for the hair. Even though this is finished, I should be using these. This is finished, so I use that. I also have some leave-in conditioner, which is very good. So when I'm at home, what I like to do is put on the conditioner and the castor oil and then leave that for like 20 minutes and then come back down and use the oil because I think that's how you're meant to use it. So Arsenal lost to Villa 
2-0 and my mood is completely shattered. It's literally the hope that kills, but you know, is what it is. Gonna end the vlog right here. If you've liked the vlog, drop a comment down below, share the video, like the video.